Hello, curious minds. Welcome back to our digital arena, where we dissect the most exciting, the most intriguing, and the mind-boggling advancements in the world of technology. Now, fasten your virtual seatbelts, because today we're diving into a topic that's like the clash of the titans in the realm of artificial intelligence. We are pitting Google's Bard against OpenAI's ChatGPT. Let's get ready to rumble. Before we jump into the ring, though, it's important to understand who our competitors are. Let's start with the challenger, Google's Bard. Bard is short for bi-directional and autoregressive transformers. It's Google's AI model, which made its debut after ChatGPT. This AI model stands out in the world of natural language processing, or NLP. On the other corner, we have OpenAI's ChatGPT, the reigning champion of our digital discourse. ChatGPT is an AI language model designed to generate human-like text based on the input it receives. Now that we have our introductions out of the way, let's delve into the key differences and similarities that make this competition so fascinating. First, let's discuss their shared base, Transformers. You see, both BARD and ChatGPT are based on the Transformer model. Without diving too deep into the techie pool, Transformers are a type of model architecture that allows these AIs to understand and generate language. It's like the grammar rulebook, dictionary, and thesaurus all rolled into one for our AI pals. However, while they share a foundation, they diverge when it comes to their learning approaches. Bard takes an auto-regressive route. Imagine it like a person who is meticulous, cross-checking everything. It uses previously predicted words to predict the next words in the sequence. On the other hand, ChatGPT is also auto-regressive, but it relies on GPT's fine-tuning capabilities, which are trained on a diverse range of internet text. When it comes to language fluency and coherence, both are like Shakespeare in the AI world. They can hold a conversation, answer your questions, and even write a poem for you. But in terms of raw performance, Bard claims to have the upper hand. It boasts a higher BLU score, a popular metric to measure machine translation's accuracy. Although, it's worth noting that while important, BLU scores aren't the be-all and end-all. It's like judging an ice cream solely based on its sweetness without considering its creaminess, flavor depth, or if it even gives you brain freeze. Now, let's talk about one of the biggest arenas of competition, data privacy. Both Google and OpenAI have placed considerable emphasis on privacy, implementing processes to ensure data doesn't get misused. However, OpenAI's ChatGPT has a bit of a unique approach. They use a technique called differential privacy, which is like giving someone a detailed painting but with all the faces blurred. It provides insights, but it doesn't compromise on individual data. In the end, whether BARD or ChatGPT comes out on top isn't just about who has the best scores, the fastest times, or the slickest sentences. It's about how well these AIs can assist, engage, and even entertain us. They're tools, and like any tool, the best one depends on what you need it for. So whether you're Team BARD or Team ChatGPT, remember that they both serve to bring us closer to a future where AI becomes an even more integrated part of our daily lives. And there you have it, folks, the epic face-off between Google's Bard and OpenAI's ChatGPT. It's an exciting time to be alive, isn't it? As always, remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay tuned with us on this thrilling journey of understanding the world of technology. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and until next time, stay curious.